Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to learn a very very important topic on how to assign charge or calculating the overall charge of an amino acid at different pH. Let's say pH, very acidic pH, pH equal to 1, pH equal to 2 or some mid-level pH at 6 or 7 and that is called as a physiological pH that is 7.35, that's the physiological pH or very high pH, let's say around 11 or 12. So how do we exactly calculate the overall charge of an amino acid that we are going to see in this video? So what does this charge relate to? It is everything related to henderson hasselbalg equation. What is this henderson hasselbalg equation? It is of the topic of buffer solutions. Okay, buffer solutions of chemical equilibrium. Okay, so this is the equation for henderson hasselbalg equation. pH is equal to pKa plus log of concentration of salt. Salt is nothing but the deprotonated form of an acid. Okay, and acid is the protonated form. So what exactly happens is, there are two cases. One is case 1 where the pH is less than pKa. Okay, for all the different groups, there is some pKa value that determine the acidic nature of a particular group. So if the pH is less than pKa, what does that mean? Here there is what? There is a negative sign. Okay, when here there is a negative sign minus some value that means pH will be lower than pK. Okay, so when, when is this possible? When the log value is negative? When the log value will be negative? When we take a log of any value less than 1. Right? So, log of some x let's say it is negative when this is possible when x is less than 1 so what is x here salt upon acid salt is what here it is coo minus that is deprotonated form and protonated form of the acid will be this okay this is less than 1 so the deprotonated form is less than the protonated form so which dominates here nh3 plus so what happens is the amine gets protonated, that is protonation takes place, addition of H plus ion. Protonation means addition of H plus ion. Okay. And the last very important second case is pH is greater than pK, then what do you do? When will the, okay, let me raise this. When will the pH greater than pK that we have to see now? Okay, if pH is greater than pK, that means the log value is positive. When log value is positive, log of x is positive when the x is what? x is greater than 1. Okay, x is greater than 1 means salt form that is deprotonated form will be, okay, denominator that is protonated form. Okay, this will be greater than 1. What does that mean? COO minus that is deprotonated form is greater as compared to the protonated form. So when the pH is greater than pK, what happens is this form will be dominating. That is deprotonation takes place. Okay, or loss of what is deprotonation? Loss of H plus ion takes place. Okay, so these are the two very important cases. This we uh, derived from the henderson hasselbalg equation. So, is this very convenient to remember? The answer is no. It's slightly difficult. So, we write down two very important conclusions for whatever we did till now. First is, if the pH is less than pK, what you do? It is very simple. You do protonation. Protonation. What is the meaning of protonation? Protonation means add H plus ion. And second important case is pH is greater than pK. What will you do then? Deprotonation takes place in the basic medium. 
Okay, what will happen? Deprotonation that is remove H plus ion. Remove H plus ion. Okay, so this was in general. Now let us talk about protonation, deprotonation in terms of functional groups. Okay, suppose I have COOH. Okay, sometimes it is in this form. So if I add H plus ion, what will happen? This is already protonated. Protonated means we cannot add H plus ion to COH. It is already H plus ion is added. Okay, already protonated. Okay, if I remove H plus ion, what I will get? Okay, this H plus ion will be removed. Here negative charge will be formed. Okay, this electrons of OH bond will be donated to oxygen. So if I remove H plus ion, that is if I do deprotonated, deprotonation, what I will get? I'll get COO minus. Okay, sometimes what happens is instead of COOH, I told you it is Zwitter ionic form. Okay, COO minus. So in this, if you add H plus ion, what will happen? It will become COOH. If I remove H plus ion, what will happen? That is deprotonation, what will happen? It is already deprotonated, it will remain same. Already deprotonated, so it will remain same, COO minus. Here it is already protonated, so it will remain COOH. Now let us talk about the amine group. Amine group NH2. Okay, suppose uh, first I talk about NH2. If I add H plus ion, what will happen? There is lone pair on nitrogen that can pick up H plus ion. It will become NH3 plus. Okay, if I remove H plus ion, what will happen? Okay, it is already removed. Okay, it is deprotonated. So, it will remain NH2. That is, it is already deprotonated. And the last form is when it is in the Zwitter ionic form that is NH3 plus. Okay, NH3 plus. Okay, if I add H plus ion, it is already protonated, so it will remain as it is. And if I remove H plus ion, what I will get? NH2. Okay, so these are the four different cases that we have discussed and now we can start solving the question so you can understand in a much better manner. First question is calculate the charge of the alanine at 3 pH. One is pH equal to 2, pH equal to 6 and pH equal to 11. So this is a structure that is given. Okay, first is at pH equal to 2 what happens is let us see for this amine group. Here, what is happening? pH is less than pK. Okay, pH is 2 and pK is 9.69. pH less than 2. So, what you will do? pH less than pK. So, protonate. Protonate or add H plus ion. So, it is already added. Right? So, it, it will remain same. Now, here COOH, what will happen? pH is what? pH is again less than pK. 2 is less than 2.34. Okay, pH is less than 2.34. So, protonate. So, add H plus ion. It is already protonated. Okay, so it will remain same. So, this is the structure at pH equal to 2. Okay, CH, CH3, NH3 plus COOH. So, what is the overall charge you can see here? Overall charge is plus 1. Now let us see at pH. Now let us see what will be the charge at pH 2. pH 2 we had seen charge is what plus 1. Now let us see at pH 6 what will be the charge. So, here it is 9.69. So, 6 is less than 9.69. That is, pH is less than pKa. 
so you add h plus ion it is already protonated <coughs> here 6 is greater than 2.34 that is ph is greater than pka so you deprotonate deprotonate so what will happen COOH will now become COO minus. You remove this H plus ion. So, what is the structure? Structure at pH. pH equal to 6 will be CH. CH3. This will remain as it is NH3 plus. And here it will become COO O minus. So, what is the overall charge? Minus 1 plus 1 overall charge is 0 so here the overall charge is 0 now last what we have to see is we have to see the charge at pH equal to 11 ok charge at pH equal to 11 so you can see 11 is what greater than 2.34 it is also greater than 9.69 so in both the cases pH is greater than pKa so it will be pH is greater than pKa so deprotonation takes place in both the cases ok that is remove H plus ion ok so if I remove H plus ion from NH3 plus what I will get here I will get NH2 and if I remove H plus ion from this what I will get COO minus. So you can see the overall charge is what? Here the overall charge is minus 1. Okay, so this was for pH equal to 11. The third class. So for pH equal to 2, it is plus 1. For pH equal to 6, it is 0. And for pH equal to 11, it is minus 1. Now we'll go to slightly difficult problem. What is the charge on the glutamate at pH equal to 11? Okay, so pH is 11. So first one, let us compare this. 11 is greater than 9.67. pH is greater than pKa. What you will do? Deprotonate. Remove H plus ion. So what will happen here? I will get NH2. I have removed H plus ion CH2 COO CH2 CH2 now we have to see for this group here 11 is greater than 4.25 that is pH is greater than pK so deprotonation takes place remove H plus ion so it is already removed ok so it will remain same COO minus now last one here pH is what pH is again greater than pKa so what will happen remove H plus ion ok it is already removed so it will remain same C double bond O O minus so now if I want to calculate the overall charge it will be here there is lone pair this is chargeless minus 1 minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 overall charge is minus 2 so what is the correct answer for this question? Correct answer for this question is option A, minus 2. Okay, so in this way you can calculate the charge on any amino acid. This is the last question. Here also three values are given and here for our assistant was what is given protonated and deprotonated forms are also given. So which pH we have to calculate? pH 5. So again compare 5 is less than 8.37 okay pH less than pKa so protonate or add H plus ion okay so this is already the protonated form so this will remain as it is NH2 here if you see pH is greater than pKa so deprotonate so remove H plus ion so deprotonated form it is already deprotonated so this will also remain as it is okay and then here if you see C 
फाइव इज ग्रेटर देन सॉरी हियर इफ यू सी पी एच इज वॉट फाइव इज फाइव इज लेस देन टेन पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सो हियर इट विल बी पी एच इज लेस देन पी के ए सो यू विल एड एच प्लस एंड यू विल प्रोटोन इट ओके सो दिस विल बिकम एन एच थ्री प्लस दिस विल बिकम एन एच थ्री प्लस नो हियर लास्ट वन इफ यू सी पी एच इज ग्रेटर देन वन पॉइंट नाइन टू दैट इज पी एच इज ग्रेटर देन पी के ए सो यू डी प्रोटोनेट ओके रिमूव एच प्लस आयन ओके सी ओ एच इफ आई रिमूव एच प्लस आयन वॉट आई विल गेट सी ओ ओ माइनस तो वॉट इज दल चार्ज प्लस वन ओके दिस चार्ज एंड माइनस वन प्लस वन माइनस वन ओवरऑल चार्ज इज जीरो सो द करेक्ट आंसर हियर विल बी ऑप्शन सी जीरो सो दिस वॉज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस वे यू कैन कैलकुलेट द चार्ज ऑफ एमिनो एसिड एट एनी पी एच वॉट एवर इज गिवन प्रोवाइडेड यू हैव द पी के वैल्यूज ओके पी के वैल्यूज मस्ट बी गिवन देन यू कैन कैलकुलेट द चार्ज ऑफ एनी एमिनो एसिड एट एनी पी एच ओके आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द चार्ज ऑफ अमीनो एसिड विल सॉल्व सम मोर क्वेश्चन इन द कमिंग वीडियोज सो इट विल बिकम मोर एंड मोर क्लियर ओके देर आर ओनली टू केसेज वन इज पी एच लेस देन पी के what you do you protonate add h plus ion and if ph is greater than pk what you will do you will remove h plus ion okay these are the two very very important things that you have to remember rest is easier okay comparison is very important okay that is you have to do it carefully so you can get the correct answer so i hope you have understood this thank you